Okay, okay let's take up the questions now. I examine uh, the industrial location of iron and steel industry in India as per Weber's industrial location theory. This is a straight question, but the reason why we have asked you this, okay, so the first one is uh, Weber's theory. Okay, I'll quickly revise this in seven, eight points. Okay, and then I've asked this in relationship to uh, steel industry. Uh, steel industry ke saath, relationship. Okay, you have to write down. There are two questions on this, and the two questions have to be answered differently. Okay, this was more like a demonstration. Okay, otherwise you'll miss out. Okay, now see. Any any location theory they ask you, whether it's industrial location theory or is it uh, agriculture? One tunnel last time pucha hua hai. So less likely they'll ask you one tunnel this year. It could either be a Weber theory or it could be the central place theory. That's my guess if they ask you a location theory. Weber theory, they have not asked for some time now. Look at the previous questions. They have not asked Weber properly. As a pain push diya hai, short term push diya hai. But discussing the industry according to Weber. Okay, so I think this is an important one. Any location theory, any uh, uh, location theory, they ask you. Okay, so what you do is, okay, uh, these are the five, six things you must write. Least cost, least cost, normative, assumption based. So this is ideal case, economic, rational man, isotropic uh, surface, uh, perfect uh, competition. Okay. Then this is uh, a least uh, transport cost efficiency. Okay. And uh, 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 Weber's uh, modification, this was around the labor location and around agglomeration. Okay. Uh, the concept of the concept of material index, which is weight of raw material by weight of finished products. Okay, so we have got uh, a raw material based industry, which are uh, weight uh, losing raw material. Sorry, we have got market based. We have market based, which are uh, weight gaining. Now tell me uh, this much of content. Can you put in a, a quick box and show the examiner you know the concept? Okay, any question on Weber theory? Okay, I'll suggest you should tell the examiner that you know more or less the contours of the theory. Okay, maybe mention one or two examples here. Mention uh, one or two examples here. Okay, this is my suggestion. Any list, any of these location theory, ye char paanch point aap likhna pakka. Write down definitely. Okay, then, then, uh, when the actual theory starts, the actual theory starts, say, steel industry. So the question was, uh, examine industrial location of an steel industry in India as per Weber's industrial location. Okay, this is the question. The answer here, answer here, that uh, Weber's theory is, okay, industrial location uh, based on, based on, Okay, uh, transport uh, cost efficiency. Okay, efficiency and factors, factors that uh, uh, modify okay, the uh, locations because of labor or agglomerations. Okay, agglomerations. This is the beginning. Maybe have a quick a uh, summary of Weber's theory, like I said, a summary is a char-panch point, uthalo. Okay, pick up. So 
फर्स्ट सेंटेंस में ये बता दिया मैंने आई हैव मेंशन द आईडिया ऑफ लीज ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉस्ट आई हैव मेंशन लेबर एंड दिस वन मे बी यू कैन डिस्कस इट इज अ नॉर्मेटिव थ्योरी एंड दिस कांसेप्ट ओके सो वेबर्स इज अ नॉर्मेटिव थ्योरी इट्स एन आइडियल थ्योरी टेल अस द फैक्टर्स हियर ओके एंड टॉक अबाउट द कांसेप्ट ऑफ एम आई मे बी ड्रॉ अ ट्रायंगल हियर इसमें क्या होगा ना फर्स्ट फ्यू लाइंस में यू हैव टोल्ड द एग्जामिनर यू नो द कंसेप्ट ओके नाउ स्टील इंडस्ट्री स्टील इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया ओके इन रिलेशन टू इन रिलेशन टू वेबर्स थ्योरी इन रिलेशन टू वेबर्स थ्योरी सो दिस you can discuss around okay three four parts part number one is uh, steel industries steel industries accordance to the uh, uh, weight triangle in accordance to weight triangle which is okay iron ore based b is uh, coal based okay uh, c is uh, the port based post based which is in accordance to the market proximity to japan can you discuss these three all of you ye pehla part hai steel industries okay in india in relation to weber's model आरन ओर बेस्ड आरन ओर बेस्ड कौन से है ओके द वंस आरन ओर बेस्ड योर भद्रावती स्टील प्लांट ओके इज आर एन ओर बेस्ड आर एन ओर बेस्ड पार्टली इज ऑल्सो ओके राउरकेला स्टील प्लांट बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स प्रॉक्सिमिटी टू द कोल बेल्ट एंड आर एन ओर बेल्ट विच आर द कोल बेस्ड वंस कोल बेस्ड वंस बोकारो है कोल बेस्ड वन इज ऑल्सो दुर्गापुर स्टील प्लांट ओके दुर्गापुर स्टील प्लांट पोर्ट बेस्ड इज इज विशाखापट्टनम ओके राष्ट्रीय स्टील ओके विशाखापट्टनम स्टील प्लांट दिस इज डन नंबर टू नंबर टू इज स्टील इंडस्ट्रीज स्टील इंडस्ट्रीज डिस्पर्सल डिस्पर्सल okay uh, to uh, proximity uh, proximity to urban centers to urban centers now will you call this as in accordance to weber's model or not in accordance to weber's model anybody in accordance or not in accordance okay i'm talking about the mini steel plants i'm talking about the mini uh, steel plants in india we have more than uh, 650 of them are they in accordance or not in accordance now ye jo steel industries hain okay they are in accordance in accordance to uh, weber's theory okay they are both they are both they are okay uh, raw material based in this case it is uh, a scrap iron and they are also and they are also market based because of uh, proximity to urban market ye dono hai okay this is both this is both okay it is raw material based because scrap iron hai this is from the urban urban okay uh, uh, scrap uh, steel okay iska ek aur factor hai very important another very important factor is the electricity and power okay uh, these small industries they are what's called as electric okay furnace based electric furnace based they are not blast furnace 
the blast furnace ones these are more based on uh, coal as okay uh, uh, feed stock these are electric so electric also is is urban based electric is also urban based so i've seen students make a mistake that they say the steel industries which are scrap steel based industries they're not in accordance to weber that is wrong the scrap industries the mini steel plants okay most of these here sr steel sr steel this is the hisar uh, this is now part of uh, arcelor mittal arcelor mittal we have uh jindal steel this is among the largest ones ke char paanch centers hain jindal steel okay we have uh, rathi steel and we have alang steel ye major hai like a major in india just remember this in india uh, uh, 50% uh, 50% of all uh, steel production of steel production uh, is from is from uh three main one is all the sale units okay or uh, tisco and visakhapatnam 50% is from this another 50% is the rest okay so ye jo aapka pehla wala part tha according to weber and these are we are referring to what we are referring to the integrated integrated uh, steel plants they are coke based they are coke based they are uh, blast furnace based okay they are based on they are based on a uh, coal a uh, feed stock they are based on uh, uh, rolling mills the integrated steel plants तो जितने भी इंटीग्रेटेड स्टील प्लांट्स हैं ओके द 50% ऑफ देम दे आर ऑफ दिस काइंड देन द स्टील इंडस्ट्रीज जो डिस्पर्स्ड है टू अर्बन सेंटर्स द डिस्पर्स्ड वंस आर एसआर स्टील इन हिसार जिंदल स्टील देयर आर सिक्स सेवन यूनिट्स ऑफ देम राठी स्टील इन एमपी एंड अलंग स्टील दीस आर आल्सो बेस्ड ऑन द वेबर्स मॉडल वेबर्स मॉडल the mini steel plants or ye teen important hai the raw material based which is scrap based they are based on electric furnace electric furnace requires good electricity that's why the urban based and they are also market based because the consumption centers are the markets now a third aspect hai okay a uh, third aspect hai which is the uh, steel ancillary units and a fabrication units the steel ancillary units and the uh, fabrication units fabrication units now these units and anybody knows what am i referring to what are the ancillary units and what are the fabrication units that make steel products okay they make those uh, furnitures maybe they make the gates maybe they provide for other industries also the steel ancillary units and fabrication units and these are entirely these are entirely uh, based on urban demand urban demand so we are looking at uh, steel industries which are around uh, furnitures Uh, steel industries around uh, the tin uh, sheets uh, industries around uh, uh, gates and balusters you know what is baluster baluster are the railings along the staircase furnitures is the ancillary units hain these are fabrication units uh, furnitures hain tin sheets hain gate balusters hain uh, very important uh, industries also the utensils industries ye jo hai these are entirely based on markets okay these these mainly operate as they mainly operate as cottage industries cottage industries with 
uh, with uh, small uh, small uh, sheds okay they are not raw material based they are not raw material based okay so these industry and they are also based on okay they are also based on labor you require uh, skilled labor here okay and importantly this skilled labor is dispersed around yes yes absolutely automobile parts okay automobile parts yes so ek to ye hai ye raw material based nahi hai they are entirely based on the markets they are labor based labor based cotton industries hain and these these okay these operate these operate operate in economies of scale economies of a scale so they operate as clusters clusters and agglomerations clusters and agglomerations